Hello, hello. If you use Live View, you want to try Live Debugger. I just took a look at it. Let me show you what it's like. So super easy install, Live Debugger in line in there. Just remember it's only in dev mode. Um, so make sure to do that. And then the other thing that I saw in the readme was throwing this application, get him Live Debugger, Live Debugger tags in your head uh, of the um, root layout. And this is in injecting some JavaScript. You might want to take a look at what's in there. I don't know, but uh, you know, just just to get it started, just to get it going. This was my test. So, uh, what it does. So let me go to some live views now. I have a really simple counter live here, and uh, uh, this is the live debugger, right? And you can see I have two live views. I'll show you the other one in a second. But let's go into counter live. It detects that this live view is running. And first, let's look at the assigns, right? You have a count here. You see the flash, live action, all that jazz. And so if I increase the count. Sure enough, the count is increasing in the assigns. So that's beautiful. But if you see there's a trace down here, and this is just showing render and mount and nothing else, but you can actually start tracing. Let's do that. And let's see what happens when I start tracing and I click on plus or minus. You see the trace, it's changing, right? It's actually tracing the live view, which is really cool, right? So you see the render here, the handle event that handle this, like there was a decrease, and you can see there's no value. We're just doing it based on the event. We actually decrease the assigns based on the event name rather than an actual value being passed. Cool. So let's take a look at a different one. I'm going to go to a different live view and uh, post live index again, just to, to get another sense, right? So I'm going to go ahead and start tracing here. And let me see if I click new post, what do we have here? We have a render for new post, right? And so live view debugger is awesome. Uh, some date, I suppose. Let's save that post. And sure enough, let's look at the, take a look at this, right? So we have a render, we have the handle params to ha to save that, right? Uh, and the post, let's see, uh, there's just some, this is really cool to see all this stuff coming through, right? The flash, and then uh, it did another render. And this is listing post, right? So once we've actually rendered that, and it's, it's doing a handle info, no matter, I don't actually know what the handle info is for. Uh, I don't remember much about this live view, but you can see here, it's actually tracing this whole thing. And finally, there was another render. So really cool. You know, it's meant for dev. I, I don't think it's supposed to be used in production, but definitely check it out. I hope you like it.